A moment in history to behold, Miss Constance Soposingwe becomes the first female South African High Commissioner to Lesotho. The Kingdom of Lesotho and the Republic of South Africa has a symbiotic relations sharing common language, culture and economic interdependencies. Your Majesty, it's your Today I have the highest honor to present to Your Majesty my letter of credence bestowed on me by His Excellency President Madame Elasema Ramaphosa. The incoming commissioner comes in as the kingdom prepares to hold the national elections and an incomplete national reforms. She needs to hit the ground running. Partners in the region, while very supportive about progress, remain concerned that the omnibus bill, although almost finalized, was not adopted by parliament prior to it being dissolved. However, we are heartened and encouraged by the fact that the Council of State advised on the declaration of a state of emergency and consideration is being given concerning the possible recall of Parliament to finalize and approve the omnibus bill before the forthcoming general elections. His Majesty has welcomed the incoming Commissioner and conveyed sincere gratitude to the role played by the Republic of South Africa during challenging times of political unrest. The Soto will remain forever indebted to President Ramaphosa and his envoy, former Deputy Chief Justice Dikhang Museneke, for their tireless efforts in their roles as facilitators, supporting and patiently steering our national reforms process. It is my hope that your stay amongst us will be enjoyable and fruitful. Meanwhile, outgoing facilitator to Lesotho, President Cyril Ramaphosa has lauded the positive progress made on reforms and hopes the omnibus bill will be completed sooner. We reviewed the progress that has been made with regards to the reforms in Lesotho and uh, the summit was really pleased to receive a very positive report about the near conclusion of the reform process in Lesotho, where we received a very uplifting report from the Prime Minister, who informed us that the reforms are about to be concluded, and all that remains is either that the King must sign off on the bills and the Parliament must meet to sign off. This will be a real milestone in the life of Lesotho and he characterized it as the rebirth of Lesotho in which SADC and South Africa has played a very important role of bringing about peace, bringing about stability in Lesotho. Following an agreement signed in November 2021 establishing the binational cooperation, the two countries will soon be implementing the historic agreement that will see a better cooperation from multiple sectors of the two countries. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserolo Soto.